I'm so happy. I'm alive. I literally have goosebumps right now. Oh my god, what is my life? I can't believe I'm here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys, um, I'm in Salzburg now. I just left Vienna this morning and first thing I have to say is um, if you know what that little lovely spot is, you know that my last hostel had bed bugs. I'm trying to contain the situation as much as possible. I told my last hostel Having this issue in the middle of a backpacking trip is a little bit of a struggle considering I still had to go to two more hostels after the one that had bed bugs. But luckily I kind of quarantined my stuff away from my bed. I wasn't completely convinced that the marks on my arms and my back were bed bug bites. But just in case, I just did that rather be safe than sorry. And luckily I didn't have any other problems so I don't think I brought any with me if that's what it was. So I took the train from Vienna to Salzburg this morning into this afternoon. I'll insert my little Snapchat <laughs> adventure here. Okay, so I'm in Salzburg, Austria, and I'm trying to find my hostel, and my map is telling me to literally hike up the giant staircase with this. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> So I made it to the top, it's absolutely beautiful, but then I look at this sign and I have to go up more stairs. I'm so confused. The directions led me to a restaurant. I'm at a restaurant. So after that struggle, I found out my hostel was above the restaurant, but this is the view. And it really makes me feel better about the struggle I've had today and all day. Also, I have the whole thing to myself. So that's good too. But it took me so long to get here because I was getting so lost. I got lost like three different times. And then it turns out this hostel is literally like on a mountain on top of a restaurant. Like a nice restaurant too. And the view, the view. You aren't ready. And then the restaurant's down there. So... I'm in love with Salzburg and I just got here and even though I've had my struggles today, I'm really feeling this place and it's so beautiful outside. I still have a few more hours of sunlight so I think I'm going to go back into the center of town so I can figure out how to get there and have a little picnic. And I bought this sandwich and this iced tea at the train station. Also I got this Twix but I ate one of them. Oh and also this hostel is like $25 a night and I have the whole room to myself first of all. And breakfast is included. And this is a million dollar view. I'm really pale, also. This map does not make sense. It keeps bringing me to places I physically cannot go. <laughs> but it wants me to throw myself down this mountain. <laughs> and honestly, I'm on board. The thing about Salzburg is, it's built in a mountain, like on the side of the mountain. So when I'm looking at my direct, oh my god, my hair. When I'm looking at directions, it doesn't show me altitude, it just shows me roots like flat roots and that's what my problem is getting around so i'm in an elevator i, I, don't, I don't get it i just don't but i still have it still thriving my last day in Salzburg and I'm feeling very blissful. I just woke up, looked out my window, let me just remind you, um, 
Hi. And I went and I had a nice little breakfast that was included with my hostel. I love this hostel, by the way. Today I'm going to do as much as humanly possible. I want to see as many sound music sites as I can. And I also got a Salzburg card, which means I get free admission into like every museum in the city. I would highly, highly recommend the Salzburg card if you're visiting for more than a day or two because it is definitely worth the price. You get unlimited travel on all public transportation. You get free access to all the museums, discounts on a bunch of attractions. You get discounts to a lot of shops and restaurants. And I think that it also provides a good guide of the key spots you want to visit in Salzburg. So I'll link all the information for that down below. Obviously, because it's sponsored, I wish it was. But yeah, I'd recommend that if you're going to visit Salzburg. Can't even believe this is my life. Yeah, so let's, let's go. exploration and I went to the place where Do Re Mi was filmed and that was very nice and then I just kind of walked with no destination in mind. Since I have the Salzburg card I can get into any like museum or attraction for free so I just went up to that giant fortress and I got to go up the little cable car thing. It looks more like a Disney ride than a cable car but I ended up wandering out and I can't get back in to take the cable car back down. So I'm just walking down and it's very pretty, but I have no idea where I am. Wow. Oh, I'm... Oh, wait. I know where I am. I know exactly where I am. Oh, that's so great, actually. So that is everything I vlogged for this trip. I actually did a lot more than is in this vlog and I made a Google map of all the places that I went, which I'll leave in the links down below. And I also have a lot of pictures and videos on my Instagram story and my Instagram highlight for Austria. And I didn't vlog in Prague because I was having a lot of travel anxiety for some reason. I never really get that, but I decided I'd rather live in the moment than be stressed out about carrying around my camera and trying to get content when I wasn't really feeling my best. So there isn't any vlog footage from that, but I do have a highlight on my Instagram and I post it on Instagram if you want to go check out my content from that and that is the end of my backpacking trip but there's a lot more travel vlogs still to come from France, Scotland, Wales and then a few more vlogs in London so stay tuned. I see